because here we have what we've got here. Here is the other way of using the present tense. Intra la la is the present tense. So evil chanir nachil ha, and that would be today in Jew. Intra kechu is the past tense. In ro charo nachro va, and that yesterday is in Jew. Intra chachka is the future tense. In B, a B, nach B, B, and tomorrow is Imaroch. In Jew, in J, Imaroch. In Jew, in J, Imaroch. So, if it, when you ask the question, if it, your yes is ha. Chanil is your negative. And nachel is your negative question. When you're in the past tense, your question is in ro. Your negative answer is charo. And mostly your negatives have ch, cha. Cha, really good Scottish sound, like loch, cha, charo, nach ro, and ba. BH is a V in Gaelic. MH is a V in Gaelic. In B, Chavi, Nach B, B. So to give you examples with the weather, that's your to bring you to the tenses. The weather. I thought we'd start with the weather as a subject matter. So weather can be a or e. It can be masculine or feminine. I have chosen e, but the reason why amashir and shiju are both words, feminine words, meaning weather. But va means day, and it's a masculine word. So really, it could be what's it like today, and it could be the day, or it could be what's the weather like. So that's why we can use e A or E. So I've chosen to use E. So fluch is wet. Fluch. Fluch. Fuhr. Fuhr. Garaf. Bria. 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 T to an E is like a ch sound and it goes ch. 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 T to an I. Is also a ch sound and it's churum. 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 And scohoch. Scohoch. Oh. Now notice, you Sco notice that the words there, these are fluch for garav, the bh is sounded, and then gh in this word here disappears. You'll find the bh in the middle of words, that'll disappear, and mh sometimes in the middle of words will disappear. And you wonder why they're all there, but they are all there. But that's the way Gal that's what makes it interesting about Gaelic. So Fluch, Fuer, Garav, Bria, Che, Tidum, Skoch. Now down here I've got the days of the week. Jubon. Jumast. Jumash. Jikirdin, Jikirdin, Jardin, 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 is the lunar day is Monday. Jamarst is Mars day, Tuesday. Jikirdin, Wednesday. Kiad is first. And Kiad is the first day of <coughs> the first day of the 
Zweitfette. Fasting. The fasting, I'm with you again. <laughs> the first day of fasting. Jordan is the day in between fasting. Jehunia is the fast day. Jusaharna is to be with uh, Saturn, Saturday. Jadoni is the Lord's day. And La and the Sabbath is the Sabbath day. Judonich is the word that's used in the Southern Islands, and most of the Southern Isles have uh, involved with the Catholic religion. And La and Sabbath are in the Northern Islands, and they are in the Protestant religion. So that, when I meet somebody from the Southern Islands and they say that Judonich, you would know that they were from the Southern Islands by saying Judonich. The people from the Northern Islands, you'd know that they were in the Protestant areas, La and Sabbath. That is the way that it, the language is, is worked, and we, we use it quite happily. So I'm going to say it is wet. On Monday, it is wet in France. So, hi, you fluch, ounce and rank. Hi, you fluch, ounce and rank. Now, your FH disappears there altogether. Right. Okay. So, hi, fluch, ounce and rank. It is wet in France. Jamarst, Tuesday. Can you leave for ounce and two on? Can you leave for ounce and two on? It is not cold in Sweden. Sweden. Jakirding is Wednesday. A very garav on so humidity in June. Is it wild or angry? Garav can be angry weather, really uh, rough weather. So a very garav on so humidity in June. Jordan, Thursday. Nachel i Bria and in Nalabu. Is it not beautiful in Scotland? Jehunia, Friday. Ha i ua vasoch che an in L.A. It's awfully hot in L.A. Is it awfully hot in L.A. just now, Mark? Yep, very, very true. Okay, Gleva. Jusaharna, Saturday. Chanyali donna an in Gwasku in Drasta. It's not bad in Glasgow just now. Which is true. Jadonich, Sunday, Haibria and Mbara. It's beautiful in Mbara. Lana Sabad and Sunday, Haiskohoch and Snaherig. It's cloudy <coughs> in Harris. Okay, so I'm going to get you to say thingy. Caroline, say uh, the first one, Jalun. Jalun. A high fluch and some front rang. Ounce and rang. 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 Aha, Viva. Catherine, Jamarst. Jamarst. Canili food, ounce and tuan. Ounce and tuan. Tuan. See when you have an I letter, the letter I. Make sure you and pronounce these letters. Okay. Can you leave an? Hai fluch ansen rang. You get the I sound coming through. Jakirdin, Pauline. Jakirdin. I feel a god of ansen Kumre and Jew. Eva. Mm -hmm. uh, John Jordan. Jordan. Nahili Dria. Oliver. Cleva. Do do do. John, Pauline, Catherine. Mark. Oh, hi. Okay, Mark. Jehenye. Jehenye. Ha i uva soch che aun in LA. Cleva. Okay. Jisaharne, John. Jisaharne. Henry Donna and then Glasgow and Rasta. Gleva, well done, well done. Jadonish, uh, uh, Pauline. Jadonish, 
ha ibria onum barai. Eva, one sabbat Catherine. Hai skohok ons nehere. Hai skohok ons nehere. Well done. Okay. So that's how you say the, the how we'd say about the weather. That's how we put them in your days of the week. So we're going to ask a question. So evel iskohok and drasta would be, is it cloudy just now? Chanyer no ha i suryar. Suryar. It's bright. So in the past tense, in ro, here we are in the past tense, in ro i fluch in j, was it wet yesterday? Haro no ba i chirim agus doroch. Ba i chirim agus doroch. The future. In b, in b is fluen amaroch. B ha kovoch. 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 Drop the t. Kovoch. Some people use the t. I don't use the T when I'm saying it, so hakovoch. It seems. And be e fur emarach, will it be cold tomorrow? Be hakovoch. Anoch. Grianach is sunny. Sunny. Grian being your son and then making the adjective grianach. Every day, a hula la, a hula la, and soon, a yaychar. Okay, try that, Mark. Yeah, after everybody said it, it's okay. That's it, okay, Grayman. Catherine? Well done. Pauline? Caroline? And John? Well done. That's a that's a great crack in spelling one there. I got you. Okay, so I'm going to give you uh, these things. So we'll go over them again. Any questions in that page there? Um, see the word for cloudy. Um, uh huh. Scott, is it said sort of quickly together, or do you make a point of the middle th like scotha? You know, you do, you two do. consonant. Okay, sko hoch. Sko hoch, so two consonants, right? Oh. Two, two consonants, two, two ways of saying it. Uh, sko is the, the cloud itself, so then sko hoch makes it into the adjective. So sko hoch. Got you, thank you. Okay. Uh, any, barai, there's an a, a I, there's an I in that again, barai. So the I is a very important letter as well in, in Gaelic. F it, it disappears. But later on, I will do a sound lesson. Mark, you've got your hand up. Yeah, I'm still wondering, can you say one more, I'm sorry, can you explain one more time, why is it um, Aonsen, and then we have all these countries with articles in front of them, but it is Aon and Alapa. Well, Aon and Alapa in Reich is the France. When you when you translate it down, when you have in rag, when you don't say frag, you say in rag. But alab is just alab. So when when there is a definite article in would be the definite article. Yeah. Then that's when you have to say ins ans. So la is that on la is not considered a definite article in front of la. No. Well, Los Angeles it would be in the Los Angeles if it was if it was ans so in. So okay. it doesn't make any sense. So the aun in is not saying in the. You're not saying in the when you say aun. No, an. you're saying in le. So an, I'm sorry, aun an, those two words together equal in. Yes. Okay. Is that okay? <laughs> not entirely so. It might just be me. I don't know. It just seems like it, it seems even different than when we learned it. Well, aun, see, oh. aun in, aun in le. So Ellie doesn't have an, a, a definite article. You wouldn't oh, say Oh gosh. Okay, that's it. Okay. All right, that's counter that's counterintuitive, but I get it now. It's right there. Okay. You got it Excellent. now? Okay. So you want because it's not got you in the LA, you're saying it. If it was in the LA, 
then you would mm -hmm. say uh, Alns in LA. Mm -hmm. Alns LA, okay? But it's Alns in, there's no, de there's no, it's an indefinite article. There's no article there. In yeah. See, I think I'm confused also because the loss in Los Angeles is a definite article in my head. So that's also a problem. Okay. 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 Fair point. Yeah. But has that helped a wee bit? I just have to learn it. It doesn't. So got it. Okay. Kerstma. Um, um barai because it begins with a B. So it's mm -hmm. M in front of bara. And then alabe is the word on its own. So an in alabe, just like an in L A. Any other questions? No? Oh well, that's fine. You're good, you're great pupils, that's smashing. Right, we're going to, we're going to try this then, we'll just try these for a minute. It was not dry yesterday in Glasgow. <laughs> What's new? <laughs> so, it was not dry. <laughs> it was not dry yesterday in Glasgow. Andrew? No, you're just making the statement, so you're not making a question. So, Haro. 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 Haro, E, or Haro, E, we've made it to E. Haro, E, E, Chirum. Chirum. And J. And J. And Nguasahu. Well done. Haro, E, Chirum, and J, and Nguasahu. It will be sunny tomorrow, won't it? Yeah. So it's will be, so be. 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 Okay, B. because the and B have B enough B B. So when you stick to these ones, that's why that's your future tense. Oh, so okay. it will be sunny tomorrow. Will it not be? Won't it be? It is not awful today, but it will be awful tomorrow. Um, Anil. Anil. A. Uh huh. Garaf. Garaf. And you. And you. And you. But ach. 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 B. B. Garaf. Garaf. Amara. Amara. It is not awful today. Chanyev e garaf in du. Ach. B. E. Garaf. Amara. Was it lovely yesterday in LA? Okay, I'll ask you that one, Mark. I'll try it. So, an ro, right? An ro e, lovely. I guess bria, mm -hmm. an j, now I've got to be careful. Aun in LA. Bria, well done. Uh -huh. Should I try to answer it? Mm-hmm, that's it. Okay. It I is lovely say, every day in LA. That would be <laughs> ha e bria, an hulala, aun in LA. Yeah, Magarido, Gleva. Wow. It is bright just now, but it will be dark soon. Hi. There's that word. There's your fun word there. Well done. Ah, that's super. So it is bright just now. Ha i sajar in draste. Ah. Bi i doroch e gaichar. Just now is in draste. And I noticed, Mark, you obviously know the word nish. Nish is N-I-S, which is now, but in Dras, there is just now. There's a subtle difference. Margaret, for um, soon is it a 
geicher or a yeicher? A geicher. The D, it's just like a soft G. And you go, a geicher. A geicher. A geicher. A geicher. A geicher. Well done. If you say it very fast, maybe it sounds like a geicher. Can it, if you're sewing fast, maybe it sounds more like a G. The other interesting thing about this a guy here, um, it shows you that Gaelic spelling rule. There's a Gaelic spelling rule which is broad, broad, slender, slender, which means the slender vowel I and E and the broad vowels are A, O and U. And when you have a slender to slender. If you see the AI, that's your last vowel was slender. And you have TH, GH, doesn't mean, it doesn't matter how many consonants you have next to that vowel, the next vowel that appears has to be a slender vowel. Yeah, yeah. So you see a guy R, a guy R, you wouldn't want to think that the E would need to be there, but it is because of the spelling rule. Okay? I understand that was the first time. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. you've learned yeah. something tonight then. Good, good, good. Okay. It's Maroch good. is the same. Look, I, and the next one, Ach Maroch, but you would think that the sound is like Es Maroch, but because it's a slender vowel, the I is the slend last one has been slender. It's got to have a next slender after the consonant. But there's just one there, R. Here you have four in Gaichar. But it's so broad, broad, slender, slender, curl, curl, <clears throat> lehen, lehen. Lehen, lehen is broad, and curl, curl is slender, slender. One of the Gaelic spelling rules. If probably the only one. <laughs> okay. Great. So that's great. So how did you enjoy that? Did you enjoy that for your introduction? Yeah. yeah. Great. 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 Great.